Click Dork back again. And today, my friends, we've got episode two of my series on Click Answers. Today, we're going to be focusing on how to create a knowledge base. But before we do that, I wanted to do just a little bit of review with you on video one. And if you have not watched it, stop what you're doing here and go back and watch video number one. In video one, I introduced the concept of a chief question officer. He was the person who was tasked with trying to create synergy between human and artificial intelligence and would emphasize how AI can enhance and amplify human cognitive abilities rather than replacing them. I also discussed the strategies for how you should frame your questions that leverage both the strengths of humans and AI. So what you came here for, creating a knowledge base. I know your fears be, uh, based on what you've seen in the media have been that maybe this video is going to take us six months. Maybe I'm going to walk you through the recruiting process of how you'll find people who are super familiar with large language models and AI, and you got to find some data scientists. I'm going to showcase how you can negotiate well for organizations who have GPUs and maybe their companies are foreclosed on. So you can get those NVIDIA chips at a discounted price. And, you know, you'll probably have to eat and sleep while watching this video to get there. I'm just kidding you. Click Answers offers a simple plug and play solution for you to get all of those really complicated, really technical things done for you right out of the box. Over the course of the coming days, I'm going to do videos on each of these steps. We're going to talk about the enterprise connectivity that Click offers you. We're going to talk about um, the, how to create a knowledge base and how to manage it. I'm going to go more into detail on the security of that in the future. We'll talk about how this, the Click assistance uh, can be utilized as a UI, but they can also be embedded. We're going to talk about the fact that the answers that you're going to get are explainable and that you, for each answer, you're going to be given the document that and the text of what came from uh, that gave you your answer so you can trust those. We also offer a review portal. So you're going to get all of these things in a plug and play fashion. You're not going to have to invest six months. This video is not going to last six months. You're going to be able to get that information right out of the box. What I'm going to show you and focus on today is this knowledge management part of it at first. And so what we're going to do today is create our first knowledge base assistant. And I'm going to train it on that same book, GPS Based Goals, that I used in my first video so that it's all very familiar with you. To create a knowledge base, you can provide your unstructured data from any of three sources. And we will get more into these things when I do a video just on that enterprise connectivity. And I'll show you how you can utilize the click connectors you already have so that you can, you know, get to those S3 buckets, the Azure blob storage, Google Cloud storage. We got you covered. Oh, if you got a Dropbox out there, yeah, you can do that. And what I'm going to do today is the really, really simple click dark version. I'm going to drag or drop my book right into the knowledge base and train it right in front of you. Are you ready to dig in? I sure am. So here we go. You're going to see just how easy this truly can be. I'm out here in my Click Talent Cloud, and I'm just in a catalog here. I've got one called the Click Answers Demo Video Space with a massive amount of, oh, shoot, there's nothing there. Just like there's nothing up my sleeves, folks. Nothing's there. We need to create a knowledge base. The nice thing with the new user interface that you've probably noticed with ClickTown Cloud is that you just press create and you can get to anything you'd like to do. Oh, of course, I'd love to go off and create, you know, some analytics apps. That's what I do most of my time. But today we're just going to press this button here called create a knowledge base. Man, that seems tough. Um, we're going to call this thing GPS based goals demo. I can give this a description if I want to. I can put some tags out there. I'm going to tell it which space I want to do. And I'm going to put it in that Click Answers Demo Videos catalog that we saw has nothing in it. The nice thing about that is I'm focusing on space is that the security for your knowledge bases 
is controlled by the space security that you already utilize and you're familiar with. So not a whole lot of new complexity to security. If you want people to be able to access a knowledge base, they need access to that space. If they do not have access to that space, they're not seeing the knowledge that's in that knowledge base. And so um, I'm going to create this thing and I'm going to tell it, go ahead and open it as soon as I create it. And when I press create, voila, I'm now giving this ability to now start training this thing. In future videos, I'm going to walk you through uh, how to use one of our enterprise data connections where you may have it out in S3 buckets or blob storage or SharePoint or Dropbox, etc. You can also choose files that you've already got in your catalog. So if you've brought sources in already, that you've used for some knowledge bases, you can reuse those things into another knowledge base just right from the catalog itself. And of course, all we're going to do today is we're going to do this browse and upload files. I, I can't make this any easier. It's going to give me the ability to literally just take my book and I'm just going to drag or drop this PDF of the book GPS based goals right here on the canvas. It tells me that it's uploaded. It gives me the ability to keep dragging and dragging and dropping and dropping till my heart is content if I'm doing the drag or drop approach. I'm going to tell it I want to upload that document. It's now uploaded that document successfully, and I have a document in here, and it's telling me that my last index is blank. And my index status is it's never been indexed. Well, what I can do is I can look at my files and I see which ones haven't been indexed. Well, I just created this. The nice thing is we give you the ability to just simply click a button and it will go off and do the indexing. I'll get into more details and the technical specifications later for you techie guys out there um, that may be thinking you could do this all on your own over a six month period. Uh, for the rest of us, we're just gonna press this button. Do your magical, you know, AI large language model stuff and go off and train this thing. So now we have an index. So we've got this stuff encapsulated ready for a large language model. Mm, I really, really shouldn't press that create assistant button. I was going to do assistance for you next week, but I mean, it's, it's right there. I mean, if you twisted my arm for me, I'd probably just go ahead. Okay, I'm going to do it. I'm going to press Create Assistant, and we will be able to start chatting with that data. And we're just going to call this the GPS Assistant demo. Again, I can put my assistant in any space I want as well. So if I want to create an assistant from this that's in some highly shared space, I can just put it right there to make life easy. If I create a space that's just for assistants, I can put it there. I'm going to go ahead and put this back in that same space. Click Answers Demo Video. I create this thing and it just automatically opens right up and is ready to go. I'll get into some of the other things we can do, but the thing we're going to focus on today is just asking questions because I want to go back to that point of the Chief Question Officer. A lot of people have written to me since seeing that and said, man, I really like that term. I'd really like to be the chief question officer for the company. How can I learn to get better in doing questions? Well, I'm going to blow your mind. Why don't you ask a question to have it give you questions that you could ask to start helping you be more creative in your question asking that would get you insights that you weren't thinking about when you were thinking, I just want to go look at the facts, like who is the author of the book? So I'm going to ask the question, can you give me five example questions I could ask about the material to discover facts in the book? Pretty easy, right? That That's something that anybody can do, no matter what their AI literacy level is, and it's going to come back with, hey, here's some great ones. Um, if I read the character, Ashley, I could ask, what was her specific dream? Right? And gosh, I, 
I, it gives me that information. How does the book suggest building confidence? Oh, here's how it would do that, right? Well, I could take those questions, copy them out, and go ask those questions if I wanted to. But the fact is that not only does answers give you the questions, it gives you the answer then. But it starts percolating your mind to ask things that are much, much different than you would normally think of if you were just doing a search like you would search for tags um, in Google or something like that. Well, let me go ahead and ask a question. Can you do the same thing and suggest questions I could ask about relationships between different things in the book? Oh, you're getting the idea. Yeah, that's how I got my idea for questions for, for insight in my last video. And so I asked that book because now I'm not asking about single things. I'm asking about relationships. And when we're thinking about data, that is always the interesting part of it. Those relationships between things. How does building confidence relate to improving communication skills according to the book? Man! I don't think there's anybody out there who wouldn't want who wouldn't want to know the answer to that question, right? Like that that's incredible. Now, I'm not going to ask more questions. I just wanted to end by showing you this how you create a knowledge base. Hopefully you saw that was pretty simple. You press create, you drag or drop, you press create assistant and you're up and running in no time. So when you get your tenants turned on with click answers, I hope that the first questions you ask are going to be asking for it to suggest questions to you. As always, I hope you'll press like. I hope you give me comments. That's how I know how to continue information for my next videos. Be sure to press subscribe. And as always, my friends, have a great day.